Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. I hope you like the art that you'll be seeing me do. Now, on to the video! My first full voiceover, yay! <laughs> this might not be a permanent feature of my videos, but you guys can tell me what you think. Now, I did say in the description box of the first part of this piece, Eugene's, that I might give more details about the concept of this painting. So, here we are. Keep in mind, this is my own theory as to what can happen in the storyline of the Starseekers, so none of it's set in stone. Also, when I began making the concept for this painting, the webtoon only had 12 chapters out. Alright, so let's jump into the behind the scenes thinking, huh? In the Doom's Night film, the members are being tormented by men in cloaks. Now these men in black cloaks have been revealed to be the dragon slayers in the webtoon. Continuing with more of the Doom's Night film, we also see the members attacked by a massive black dragon during a stadium concert. The stadium is more than likely the same one we see in the Eternally music video. Now, the dragon. That has multiple things it could be. It could be the same whelp that is painted here under a curse, it could be an evil black dragon among many good ones, or it could even be a dragon that the slayers raised as a weapon against the boys of destiny. Any one of those is possible. Now, since we don't have a good group, I'm just going to give them the placeholder name of the Starlight. In the official story films, we see the members training with other magic users, most likely part of this Starlight's group as I call them, at their fortress that most likely is on Magic Island. In the final scenes of these films, we can see all five members standing in a large chamber that has a portal in it while the dragon slayers are charging towards them and the portal. Seeing how the slayers are trying to kill Star One, who are, as yet to be explained, the boys of destiny, it makes sense to me that Star One are meant to save the world, just as it is, or maybe even dragons, and will in turn save the world that way. That's just my dragon-loving mind, I don't know. <laughs> but following the latter option, this painting depicts Star One protecting a young dragon within the same portal chamber that I just mentioned. Now, this dragon whelp has a glowing star on its forehead. I decided to add this detail to tie into the narrative of Nap of Star, where the boys make a promise to a star. Now, in my mind, this star could have been one of importance to the birth of dragons, so now with that promise being made, the fate of the members of Star One and the fate of this dragon are now connected. Obviously, I'm not gonna <laughs> say where that fate will go, because I have no idea. Now, in the story as to how the members could meet this dragon whelp and be prompted to protect it from the dragon slayers, or really any of the building up circumstances, I literally am not even gonna try and predict that. While I do have a few ideas, it's really just my own fantasy. I could elaborate on it a bit more, but I don't really want it at this time. <laughs> Unless you guys ask, then I will. And with that, we're all finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos when I upload. See you next time, and I wish you all the best.